Hey guys, it's Connor Watson here, and welcome to my first week in Indigenous camp. Just um, up early this morning, first training session, so rooming with AJ, which is... Yeah, been pretty good so far. He doesn't snore, I don't think. I was, I was asleep before him last night, so <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I'm a Gamilaroi and Walwan man, so um, my family's from out Walga. Um, that's where it sort of started for me, and then um, they all sort of migrated into Dubbo and Canamble. So most of my family's in Canamble and Dubbo now, but um, that's sort of yeah where they're settled. So when I go back home out there, that's sort of where I connect with those guys. But I had a big chat with my uncle the other day about it. You know, he sort of spoke for about 40 minutes how happy he was for me, and um, yeah, just. Like, it's something I've always wanted to do, so it's massive for me. I'm, yeah, just really looking forward to going out there and yeah, playing for my people, playing for my family, and um, yeah, hopefully we play well and get a good win. So what we're gonna do, yeah, we can't read, boys, can't we? That's it. We feel like an amazing race. We feel like this. We gotta feel like this, yeah, nice. We're gonna fill out this um, bucket of water by trying to dig a hole and get water in it. It's working now. Yeah, nice, go. Where are you? Deep down, deep down. 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 Deep Yeah, that's it. Raw Beach just did like a session with the Youth Summit kids, all um, indigenous kids from, I think they're from around sort of New South Wales, Queensland, and um, basically just kids that have been going to school and doing well at school, get the opportunity to come up here for a week and have a bit of a holiday, do some stuff, do some stuff with us. Um, it was good fun, I just played like the amazing race down there with them. And, yeah, it's good to see them yesterday at Wet n Wild. <laughs> what are we doing, boys? Go and suss the views out there. Yeah, where are we? Where are we? Where we're are we, Where are we in the Gold Coast representing? Oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> Malakai, come here. Say hello, bro. It's my boy Malakai. Don't, no. What are you doing? Talk to him. What are you doing out here on Gold Coast on the beach? Representing. Yeah. What else? Why here? Right. This is your summit. What's that, bro? What are you gonna do? Come kick it with the Indigenous All Stars for a week. Yeah. Enjoy ourselves. Why do you get to do people? that, bro? Because you've been good at school now, day. Oh. Yeah. yeah. How's Connor been? Bit of a piss. It's bringing awareness to our culture. Obviously, um, a lot of it's been lost, which is awful. But it's weeks like this where you go, and myself, I go and learn about more about my history and where I'm from. But then it also brings you know non-Indigenous people in and gets to see what we're all about, see how fantastic it is. You know, whether it's through the dancing. Um, you know, the smoking ceremonies that we've done this week. I think it's just a way to enlighten people what we're all about because it's, um, it's crazy. 
it's crazy, it's so fantastic. It's honestly, yeah, it's so cool. In 2017, I lost my cousin Parker to suicide. Um, he took his life and it obviously something that um, really affected me and my family, my auntie, my nana and pop in particular. Um, yeah, it's been really tough on the family, but we wanted to use that pain as um, something to be able to go and make change so other people don't have to feel what we had to go through. Cultural Choice Association is um, there to support um, in the and bring awareness to the prevention um, of Indigenous youth suicide and its related causes in Australia. So this is something that's really close to my heart. Last year we launched the Boots for Brighter Futures initiative. I'm really proud that um, people see this as a great initiative and a way to make change, you know. It's so simple. It's, it's so simple. We wear boots every week and um, just to be able to go and use them as a bit of um, I guess advertising for indigenous culture, but then also to bring awareness to the issue, which is um, you know, running, causing so much grief and tragedy in these small communities. Just about to do Captain's run. Look forward to it, eh? It's good, the grass. A carpet. No, it's good. How's your uh, shake a leg? <laughs> Very stiff. It can only get better is what they told me, so that's um, a good start. But too shame to do it, to be honest. Like, and then all the boys were doing it there, so I had to do it, but it was good fun. Um, everyone sort of put their pride aside and just went and did it, but yeah, I'm looking forward to tomorrow, man. Who wants it? Now, game plans for this weekend? You know each other? Um, yeah, just kick high to <laughs> Caitlin <laughs> and then just get mad, through and just bang. Mad That's kick fun. chase. Yeah, I can't do that to <laughs> Uh, uh, keep chain, tell the boys to run it on. That's know. all right. Five minute stints, I'll be on yeah. and off. Recharge the batteries. Uh, it's hard to, I don't, I don't know. Try it hard. Yeah. Try and Enjoy stop it. Trying to stop having too much fun out there. Final words? Um, Rich Allen? I'm going to say good luck. Good luck, mate. <laughs> <laughs> good luck. Not a bad little view. What are you doing? It's my roommate, AJ. What are we doing today, bro? Yeah. Get ready. I just went and had um, Brecky. AJ slept in. So. Let's do it. You didn't even flinch at all. Quick one. Um, yeah, it's a camera. Oh, What's up, boys? The game. Oh, All tips. Let's go. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> hey, I'm not playing. Bitch, he's in. Oh, bitch, he's in. He's grumpy. Look at him. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, finish getting ready, off to um, the stadium in about 40 minutes. So I'll head downstairs to the team room, stretch for about 20 minutes, start to chuck my music on and yeah, get ready for the game. Get a little espresso shot in there, get me pumped up. So yeah, thanks for following me around today, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, it was obviously really disappointing to lose the game like that tonight. You know, we had it till sort of 10 to go and yeah, a couple of bad um, misses in defence to sort of let them run away with it in the end. But, you know, the things we were able to do this week is um, probably more important than the game. You know, like a little, helping little Quaden out tonight. Yeah, I just love being in camp with the brothers. It was good to connect, um, you know, learn more about my culture. Finally learned how to shake a leg, maybe, not sure, but... Um, yeah, no, nah, it's been a great week.